Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and I thought I'd share with you a really neat way to uh, uh, gather water from your downspout. So lots of people know about rain barrels, right? Uh, that you hook up to your downspout. But this is another way, because for me a rain barrel connected to my downspout spout doesn't make a lot of sense because my garden is like uh, over 100 yards from the house, or give or take. Um, so having a, a rain barrel here, I'd be, you know, uh, you know, walking miles every day to bring water back and forth to the garden. Uh, so the guy I buy my eggs from actually came up with this idea. I'm so jealous that I didn't come up with it uh, all the years I've lived here. So all you do is you just cut the bottom out of a pop bottle or whatever. I think this is an apple juice container. Cut the bottom out. Electrical tape the top to a hose. And just let, I don't know if you can see that dripping away there. It's not a really heavy rain right now. I still have, I've got an umbrella over the, over the camera right now. But you can see, um, let me zoom in a bit here. You can see that the water, so this downspout captures half, half the roof of my house. So it's a pretty light rain given that half of a roof is only giving this light trickle, but it's supposed to pick up and become more uh, intense as the day goes on. And uh, I'll show you where it's all going. So let's follow this thing. So this is just a garden, this here section of garden hose is actually something I just picked out of somebody's trash. Someone had thrown this away. And uh, whenever I, sorry, I just hit the clothesline. Whenever I see someone throwing away a garden hose, I tend to grab them because they're usually fine, they have one hole and it's easy to fix garden hoses. Um, but in this case, I don't even need to repair it because it's not under any sort of pressure, right? I'm just giving the water a, 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 a path of least resistance. So for, you know, using an old hose for this is perfect. You could even just, you know, if you even had a gaping hole, you could just electrical tape it because it's not under any pressure, right? It's just a path for the water to take. Now this is gradually going downhill all the way to the garden. So this is extremely low cost, right? Um, going into the woods here, my goldfish pond's right over there. Let's just go around this patch of forest here. All right, so here's the goldfish pond. This is, and really this goldfish pond should be in the center of my garden. That would be more practical. Um, but I made it here because uh, when I first bought the house, I noticed it was a bit swampy here. It was always wet. And there would even, after a really, really, really intense rain, there would be a puddle here. And it was the only place that would form a puddle. So I thought, this is a perfect place for a goldfish pond. Uh, it's not necessarily the perfect place for a, an ornate ornamental goldfish pond because it's just just weeds and stuff here. <laughs> it's not like we sit here and sip tea. Um, basically, I, I chose the pond where the pond wanted to be, which is, you know, my advice for gardening in general is any given plant. Put everything where it wants to be. Don't put things where you want it. Put it where it wants to be. This is the most low energy, uh, easy place to build a garden. And all I did was just dig a hole in the ground. Uh, you know, I took a bucket full of water from a real pond, wild pond, you know, stirred it up and got a bucket full of dirty pond water and threw it in there. Um, and, you know, now I've got skipjacks. I've got a number of different pond um, insects in this pond, um, even though it's nowhere near uh, a pond, <laughs> right? Uh, I've had frogs in here. Tad I have tadpoles, but every year the, uh, the goldfish eat the tadpole eggs. Anyway, you can see, uh, I don't know how well you can see this, and I don't want to fall in or lose my camera, but you can see a slow, steady drip. I mean, this that's nothing right now, right? But as the rain picks up, that'll be just pouring in, right? Just like you you turn on a hose. And that's rainwater, not tap water. Now, I mean, I have a well and water, water, I don't really have a water bill, I have a well, and I can get all the water I want. Um, but I like using this pond to water the garden. I have a hose hooked up, or you can see over here, I got a hose hooked up for bringing water to the garden, you know, if I really need to. Um, you can't see it, but my house over there, there's a spigot, and I put the hose into the ground. It's basically the hose goes underground. <laughs> I should have filmed doing that. It goes underground all the way to uh, a spot over there in the woods. You can, I don't know if you can see it over there. But well, that's a hose hooked up to the house, and if I need water, it's, it's there. And sometimes it makes sense, if I got a lot of watering to do, to just turn that on and go for it, right? And this time of year, I do need to water the garden a bit, because the plants are fairly small. 
Uh, but if I just need to water one bed, I don't want to walk, I don't leave that hose on full time, right? I don't want to walk all the way over there and turn that on. Uh, so I just come here and uh, use this water. And this is better water. I mean, it's rain water. Rain captures nitrogen from the air as it falls through the sky. That's a fairly well known fact. Uh, and also, the goldfish are going about their lives in there, you know, eating stuff and, you know, using the bathroom. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I think it's fairly safe to say that the water in this pond is like fertilizer. <laughs> Right, so I'm inclined to you know every time I can if I have to do any watering I use this to do my watering. I just have watering cans that I throw in there and there's various means you can use to get the water out but uh, Anyway, I'd be great if I had some sort of hand pump stuck into this thing, but I, I don't um, That's fine. That would be a lot of work to set up It's easier just to throw a bucket in there on a string and pour it into a watering can that sort of thing But uh, anyway, I'm going way off on a tangent here uh, long story short, the pop bottle connected to a hose jammed onto the downspout uh, run downhill to your garden system works. That's not a siphon. People are going to say, is this a siphon? No, I mean, look at the way it's dripping. Right? It's not, not an airtight system. But you can hear it. It's totally working. <laughs> totally working. So... Uh, yeah, pretty low cost considering the hose was just garbage. <laughs> and this is my rain barrel. So anyway, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden.